Hello, Lorcana community. My name is Lazy, and I'm primarily a Magic the Gathering content creator, but I'm dipping my toe into Lorcana. I really enjoy the game. I think it's great so far, and I can't wait for the second set to come out. I've just started playing Pixelborn, and these next few videos are going to be my foray into the digital space. Hopefully you guys like the games that I am posting. I would say that I'm still relatively new to the game, so please comment on my terrible plays and give me some tips in the comments section. Future videos will be a little bit more structured. Um, these next couple videos that I'm going to be releasing or that are already on the channel are just edited and clipped versions of a impromptu stream that I decided to just do during the Thanksgiving weekend. I hope you enjoy this digital content. I have a lot more planned. My specialty is mainly commentating over, you know, real footage. So hopefully I can record some of the locals that we have going on in the Southern Ontario area and then commentate over it. So look forward to that and I hope you enjoy the content. You know the old regular spiel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. Every little bit helps. And if you are around the Toronto area or Newmarket, you know, Hopefully I'll see you out there. We're going first. Okay, let's see if we can actually mulligan some cards. Uh, okay. So there's a couple of things wrong with this hand is that we have three uninkable cards. So this is a good tempo play though. So I think we can ditch the Hades. I don't think we need an early Rapunzel or a Rockstar Stitch. And... I think we can turn the Maximus into a better bodyguard. Hopefully we can get a Simba. So let's see what we get. Oh yeah, ban the bots for me, Bo. Bro? Wow, I said Bo. Bro. Uh, okay. Uh, we have double Flynn Rider. I don't think we need one, but we will. We definitely want to put pressure on turn one playing Lil Lilo. Lil old Lilo. House. It's an awkward statement. All right, he plays this Captain Hook. So whenever he is challenging, he gets plus two power. So he's effectively a three two when he's attacking. He's a one two when I'm attacking into him. So we don't have a turn two Simba. So I don't really want to tap the Lilo. He's gonna just attack it with the Captain Hook. Maybe that's worth it. No, I don't think it is. I think if we just ink play the Flynn Rider. Next turn, we can ink again. Play this, bounce the hook so that he can't attack, and we can just tap for two. Uh, so if that is going to be our plan, we don't need to heal our guys. So we can just turn that into a mana resource. We'll play a Flynn Rider. So whenever he is challenged, uh, the opponent discards a card. Hey, how's it going, Satellite Heated Toast? What's up, cards only? The app is the app is actually working surprisingly well. For someone who made it for the love of the game and non-for-profit, and like not associated with Lorcana or Ravensburger at all, it, it, it works surprisingly well. So this guy is playing just a straight up steel deck. Is the app available for iOS? Uh, no. To my knowledge, it's PC only. Unfortunately. I'm sure that Lorcana, once Lorcana, or once Ravensburger gets it off the ground, and they make a ton of money, then they'll most likely invest into a digital software team. Hopefully, they just hire the guy who made this so that he can improve on it and he'll get, like, resources. Okay, so our plan didn't really work out. He played multiple attackers into our guys. Um, so I think at this point, we can't really play the Mother's Nose best. It's just sucky that we can't turn it into mana. I also don't want to take a turn off. <sighs> I don't know what to do here. Like, Han's is really bad because the Captain Hook just trades into him for free. All of my guys are such low stats. Maybe playing the... Maybe forcing him to use, like, discard cards is better. Ugh, I really don't want to get rid of this. And I really want to decrease his board. Okay, we'll get rid of this. We have to make a decision. Uh, we'll play this. And then we'll just 
quest. Oh my god, it wouldn't let me quest in time. Tangle. Each opponent loses one lore. So that goes straight into his inkwell. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have... So he can't use the beat, the, the grab your swords. Which is pretty good for me. Uh, but I can tap for two, four, six lore. And I... My time is running out to tap for them. So I think I will just go ahead and do that. We'll go to six really quickly. Or one, two, guys. Like, having two life or two toughness is really, really bad against gray. Or against steel decks. So I think we're going to ink LeFou, even though he taps for two lore. Uh, I don't think we're going to play Hans. I don't really want him trading too favorably into my fins. So I think I'm going to bounce a Captain Hook to his hand. Alright, later Pakari. Thanks for stopping by. Hope your Thanksgiving dinner was yummy and tasty. Is Control viable? Control is actually, what I've been told, Control is actually one of the best decks in the format. Or one of the best decks right now. Uh, so he's going to ink a Captain Hook. Hans comes in, whenever this character quests, you may deal one damage to a character. That seems really good. This well, so he can he can just quest and kill my Lilo. So that's very strong. I would okay, so here's the thing. I don't want to give you advice on in terms of metagame. What? Why would you attack that? What? Huh? I'm very confused. You could literally just Wait one. I you don't want me gaining two lore. It's only two. Uh, what's on Tuesday? Uh, we play Magic the Gathering. So we play the Legacy format, and Hakari, you know, he's he's part of my local game store circle. So that's what happens on Tuesdays. But yeah, uh, I would be hesitant to to ask me advice on metagame because I just started playing. This is probably like within my first 10 or 15 games. That is the card that we were afraid of. Sorry, can I repeat that? Do you know what Magic the Gathering is? I'm going to I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can. Oh god, this is so good. This plus the board wipe is so strong. Yeah, so Magic has multiple formats, and we play a format called Legacy, which is one of the older formats. This could get me back in the game. Maybe I don't ink. This is so strong that I might just not ink and I just do this. If I can get two of these onto the board and if he has to like swing into it, or if he just haunts over and over. But he gets four ink, I only get two. So he'll win this race. Inking this now will only be beneficial if I top deck another like another stitch. Because I would need to ink now and then ink next turn to play the stitch. I think it's fine if I don't ink it. Because the majority of my deck, I believe, is lower than 5. So yeah, on Tuesdays we play uh, Magic. So Tangle, each opponent loses one lore. Did he actually cast that? Oh, he's robbing me. Okay, so now he can start winning the the race. Alright, so my initial thoughts on this Lemon Lime aggro deck. I'm not a huge fan. Wow, this is really good. If we ink the Cheshire Cat, we can play the Stitch. We can go like this Stitch into this Stitch. But then that does nothing. Do I have Lorcana cards? Yeah, so I was fortunate enough to do a lot of trading and get the entire... Like, I have an entire playset for the first set. So I have four of every legal card that's not blinged out. And what I'm doing now is I'm playing a bunch of decks to see what I should actually build in paper to play. Can I play Control? Yeah, I'm going to play one or two more games with this deck and then I'll play Control. Because I kind of want to get a feel for each of the decks first. This is a hard decision. I have no cards in hand. I need to put something onto the board. If I play this, 
Okay, we'll play this. We'll play both. And then if the Stitch can survive, we can Rockstar next turn and hopefully we can get a a two two mana card so that we can just start drawing cards. Uh, we're going to ink with the Cheshire Cat just so that we can keep up. Hopefully he doesn't have an Ala like a big Alad Aladdin. So if he plays the bigger Aladdin, he can attack my Cheshire Cat and then steal two of my lore. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. What kind of control did you want to watch? Um... Do you know anything about Lorganic? Because if you have like a gist, I can just play like a... Like if you have a specific list that you want me to try, I'm very open to trying like just random lists as well. Because I'm... I would consider myself pretty new, but I, like I'm just using my knowledge from Magic to to play this game. I'm, I'm not too ingrained in it yet. Uh, but I think this game is over. Like... I can very I like the Cheshire Cat can't interact with his board. I can't kill this Hans, which is slowly killing my team. The only thing I can do is I can take care of the Captain Hook or this Simba with the Stitch. So if I get rid of one, he'll have one, two, three, four. So when this card is challenged, so he has to be attacked, which is kind of lame. Okay, I think we we can't even play the Lilo. So I think the only way we can try to win this is kind of killing his Captain Hook so that he can only go to 19. But if we play the Stitch, then he can attack the Stitch as well. But I think we have to do it to just apply board presence. We'll quest with the Cheshire Cat. That puts us to 12. If he's worried about my Rockstar Stitch, he can attack Hans, deal three, and then attack with the Simba to kill the Stitch. But if he was smart, he would just tap out because then he puts the pressure on me to deal with his board. And I only have one card in hand. So let's see what he does. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this only aggro. Ah, oh, that card is so good. All right, I kind of got a feel for this deck. I don't want to play it anymore. What's a control deck? Do you have a link?